Hi, I'm Teuta and I'm going to explain you the 3D multi-touch prototype. The key to the hand detection are the fingers. First, the employed algorithm needs to extract an object with exactly five fingers from the environment. After that, the number and poles of fingers can be alternated freely. Also, the system operates independent of whether the front or the back of the hand is provided. Of course, the system can also recognize multiple hands simultaneously. This way, it is even possible for several users to interact with the system at the same time. What we see here is the system's picture browser. We can load random images from Flickr by simply forming a fist over the place we want to load the picture at. Then, we quickly extend all fingers to trigger the load action. Here, as well, we can use both hands simultaneously. For frame selection, the only thing we need to do is to move our hand onto the respective objects. This is also the first time we need to be careful about the distance of the objects. To select more distance objects, we have to reach closer to the screen. To select less distant objects, we have to pull the hands back a bit. If we move one hand on a picture, a red cross appears, which indicates that the picture can be selected and moved. If we move two hands over an object, a red circle shows that it can be rotated and scaled. Let's start with the move action. We can trigger it by simply grabbing a selected picture. As you can see, the red cross on the picture now turns green. After that, we can freely move the picture around the operation space until we release it by opening the hand. The next step will be scaling and rotating an image within the scene. As mentioned before, first two hands have to be placed onto the object. As soon as the red circle is indicated, we grab the object with both hands. The grab points are locked to the hands and closely follow their movement. This way, not only the object can be rotated, but we can also achieve simple translation by moving the hands parallel to each other. Finally, the object can be scaled through changing the relative distance of the hands. Now, we can play a little with this gesture to explore its effects and limits. For example, pure rotation around vertical axis can be achieved by moving the hands towards the body and the screen. More complex rotation effects can be achieved when changing the height of the hands in parallel. The last gesture covered in this demonstration is the deletion of images. To remove an object, we simply grab it and move it out of the operation space. Finally, we are going to apply all previously introduced gestures in one example, a 3D image composition. The goal of this task is to arrange the objects in a predefined manner. Thank you for joining us with this presentation. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and you remain enthusiastic about the innovations in human-computer interaction.